Nothing can stop you. Nothing. What's up, sweet Berlin here? And as you know, I've been wandering around Kairat, and uh, yeah, we've seen all this before. Anyway, um, I've been looking for attention. You know, just not that sort of attention. No, I thought, you know, while I'm here, well, I mean, I'm intending to stay here as long as possible, really, and maybe the rest of my life, you know, so I need someone who you know, basically can do what women do, you know, which is, um, anyway, but my mother always warned me against scrub, there's no water in the bucket, love, now, my mother always warned me against scrubbers, you see, um, so this was a non-starter, really. So I've always been a bit of a sucker for a lady in uniform. Um, not necessarily this kind of uniform, but um, you know, I thought, well, uh, why not? You know, she's um, she's not interested. Okay, didn't fancy you either, love. So I was uh, attending a local funeral, you know, while I was around the village, and uh, not because of care. Um, I've got to think about fire. I could watch it all day. Anyway, um, yeah, one of the locals was telling me right that. There's this place called Love Island Lagoon. Now, I'd never heard of it, but he said there's plenty of women there. I mean, I couldn't believe it. So, me being me, I'm, I'm shouting because it's very windy up here. Yeah, um, this is the place. I couldn't believe it actually exists. Look, hang on, hang on. Jesus, coming in for a landing. This is Love Island Lagoon. Blimey. Oh, blimey, that was a rough landing. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm here. This is it. This is the place. And uh, I think I've been done up like a kepper, haven't I, really? You know, I think I misheard him. When he said there's lots of women, I think he meant there's lots of swimming. Jesus Christ. So I uh, grabbed a boat, obviously, and uh, I thought, brilliant, you know. I've been done over again, haven't I? But, you know, just in case... Let's get some flowers, you know. What does a lady love more than milk tray? Flowers. Well, that and other things. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Here I am. Love Island. On my own. Brilliant. So, I scouted around and moored the boat. And eventually, uh, I came across somebody. Namaste. Yep, morning. Unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. Well, that sounds promising at the very least. Hang on a minute. You look familiar. Hey, Ajay. Miss me? I don't believe it. Love Island. Guess what? I've only gone and met the ex, haven't I? The ex. Because I kind of finished with her because of these annoying ticks, as you can see. You were born for this. This moment right here. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Right, this is not happening. Uh, I've got to do something about this. It's time. I'm ready. That's true, uh, apart from dignity and self-respect. So, I came up with a, a cunning plan. So I suggested skinny dipping, uh, and obviously she didn't quite understand what that means. Um, but there's a method to my madness. Unfortunately, she didn't actually get eaten by any demon fish. Um, but plan B, plan B. I, I must be ready for anything. Yep, that's right. Uh, so basically, for a crate of a uh, leper cloud lager, uh, my friend lent me his expensive um, boat. And it, yeah, don't worry, I'm just going to take a picture. Hang on, just going to take a picture. So, basically, the moral of this story is, is that if your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend ever turns around to you and says, you'll never find someone like me, you should always reply with, that's the point. And thanks for watching.